right, hello and welcome to this edition of my Tesla timeout series. Now in today's show, I'm getting different winter tires put on. I've had a couple seasons with the Yokohama Ice Guards, almost three seasons, I think now. So going into my fourth winter and it's time for a change. So I'm getting uh, the Michelin X Ice put on. And as you can see behind me, there's the four tires. Now Michelin sent me these to do a review on, so I wanted to put a disclaimer on here. Um, I've always been a fan of the Michelin tires. They've been fantastic especially the winter tires. Now, you know, the stock OEM all seasons uh, on most Teslas were the, the Teslas were the Michelin privacies. I'm trying to get that out or premises. So, but I went through those after three seasons and I have the Saloons, which are on now, the E-Range, absolutely love them. And I'll put a follow-up, a uh, quick follow-up episode coming up just to give you my thoughts over the last six months on those. But today I'm going to get these uh, Michelin x -Ice uh, tires installed going to Cal Tire here locally in Brampton and they, they're the ones that do them So I have uh, another set of rims that I'm going to get these put on and get the Yokos taken off I think that they're probably due the tread life's pretty low If not, then I'll probably sell those tires and just you know, somebody could probably get another season out of them But uh, happy to move to the Michelins and then I'll be able to give you a more comprehensive review We are actually anticipating some snow potentially today um, being the last full weekend in November, so I might actually be testing them out sooner than I thought. But certainly over the next couple of weeks, as we get some winter winter weather a month, I'm going to drive, test them out, give you my thoughts both on dry and on snow, and I'll let you know how they are. So I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. And again, thanks for Michelin Canada for sending me these tires to do a review on, and I'll let you know my thoughts. All right, all right. So I'm just out uh, on dry cool day today it's about four degrees three degrees celsius and uh, it's my first kind of driving around with these michelin uh, xi snow tires so i'm just giving you my quick thoughts on normal dry pavement and some cool temperatures um, they're pretty good the, the ride quality is not bad is actually really good and um, they're quieter than i thought they'd be so they're definitely quieter than my um, the yokohamas were they were a little bit more noisier you could you could hear them so um, I like that. Um, they're they're fairly they're pretty quiet. Um, I'm not sure if they're as quiet as the Salians. I'm not I haven't really measured decibels, but they're certainly uh, pretty good um, so far. So I like that and I like the comfort stuff. So once I get a little bit of snow, I think we're anticipating some some white stuff uh, coming up shortly. We didn't get some the other day, but I just want to give you my quick thoughts just from the initial drive of uh, of what I think so far. All right, so we finally got some snow here. I had to wait a few weeks uh, till we got a good amount of snow here to test out these tires on my Model 3. Uh, I felt bad for um, uh, for the tire guys. They were at Michelin. They were asking me, uh, what are we gonna do the test? I was like, well, I'm waiting for some snow. We've actually had quite a mild Christmas season and uh, it went from basically mild to winter in a couple of days. So here I am driving on a regional road. Uh, of course, I've got the snow tires on and this is where they really shine is in these kind of conditions where you get blowing snow. Uh, we've got a high wind day today. It's minus, um, I got the temperature here, but it's somewhere in the minus eight. And then with the wind chill in the minus 15 to minus 20 C range. And it's patches of blowing snow that you come across on these open highways that can really cause some problems. So I'm going to go up uh, another couple of roads there and um, just to kind of see what the snow is like there, but give you a sense of how safe I feel on these tires. All right, so I'm on another side road, and uh, as you can see, we've got lots of snow that has blown across, and it's going to scrape the bottom here. But, uh, you know, I'm in full, a few inches of snow, and the car obviously goes a little bit around, but I've got no problem moving, no problem in traction through these as I plow my way through the grooves here on the road as the wind has really blown it across as we get these high northeast winds that uh, blow snow across the roads in the open ways. And these the tires are phenomenal. Um, I just have full confidence in them, you know. I'm not gonna do anything crazy from a maneuver's perspective, but I can let you know that I've, you know, I've had the Michelin Exercise uh, snows in the past and they've just been fantastic tires. And these are no exception. They're still relatively quiet for being winter tires, but this is really where they shine, folks. And, you know, this is the difference between all seasons and a good, good set of winter tires is on roads like this. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go a little squirrely here and I have full control. It looks like I'm out of control, but I'm actually, the car is responding right away. 
hardly any slide at all in this material. If I get too crazy, sure, I can, I can probably throw the rear end out a little bit, but not very hard. Now, this is an all-wheel drive Model 3, so I've got that instant power vectoring between the front and the rear motor. So I've got to get that assistance there, but you know, the motor and delivering power to the uh, to move the car on the road are is really as only good as the tires that the car is on and I tell you these x ice are just phenomenal tires you know no problem in plowing my way through some of these drifts here um, that aren't too bad to to get where I need to go and get up to some speed here you know get up to about 60 70 K on these roads again I'm, I'm purposely going um, back and forth a little bit just to kind of get a feel for the car whether it's giving out on me or uh, whether it's still gripping and I still have tremendous grip. Now again, winter driving is all about being sensible, not being crazy, um, you know, understanding the road conditions under, and more importantly, understanding your vehicle and what its capabilities are. So I encourage people that, you know, if you're not sure how to drive when it's conditions like this, you know, we have some, some light snow here, but underneath is a little bit of ice because we've had some snow for a couple of days and it's gotten really cold and it's packed down. So, you know, you have to be cognizant that underneath this stuff is going to be layers of something else. Now, let me just see how if I try uh, stop on my brake here, see what kind of sliding I get. So one, two, three. So anti-lock, I'm sliding, 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 and now I'm stopping. And that was from about, oh, 65, 70 kilometers an hour. So pretty reasonable going down a hill and just letting the anti-lock. Just keep your foot pressed. Don't try to modulate it. Don't pulse it like in the old days. If you're going to invoke the anti-lock, you've got to keep your foot hammered to the floor and let those anti-locks work and steer. If you need to steer away from something, then steer away from something. Anti-locks give you that capability. So really good stopping distance here in that snow. I had no problem in stopping. And in fact, it stopped shorter than I thought it was going to be. All right, so as I go on this road, there's some snow coming up. Again, remember, good snow tires, and I don't mean cheap ones, I mean good ones. It's worth spending extra money on good set of snow tires because it only takes one accident, one spin out, to cause more problems to your vehicle and more cash out of your pocket and potentially injure her, somebody or yourselves very seriously without spending a few bucks. So don't cheap out on something like snow tires if you live in regions like this that get this kind of snow. Um, make sure they're properly inflated. I'm a big, you know, check these have TPMS and I'm always checking them and then uh, best time is to check them cold in the morning before you go somewhere. That way they've been sitting and top them up. And as winter comes, when the temperatures drop, you'll find the PSA drops or PSI. And when um, temperatures get warmer, the PSI increases just the way the, the air contracts uh, and expands and contracts within the tire. So again, here I'm on some country roads, no problem. I'm giving it a little power to try to try to get myself out of here a little bit. And then as soon as I hit the drive pavement, it just kind of grips really, really nice um, on here. So let me just... All right, so found a really good road. That's uh, These are dirt roads in the summertime. So there's a little bit of that showing up, uh, but they are fairly snow covered as you can see. Now, I may get a bit of grip from the gravel that's on these roads. Uh, Again, we've had some snow for a number of days, and uh, especially over the last few days, and it's packed down a bit into uh, with the traffic, a lot of farmers and equestrian areas up here, so lots of pickup trucks and trucks that use this road. So it's a bit of ice I can feel a little bit on here, but you know, I'm gonna take this turn relatively aggressively, and the car just follows the path. It's going exactly the way I want it to be on this snow, and you know, that's the sign of a, of a good, really good set of snow tires because you don't want the rear end fishing out or the front end um, you know losing some grip and you're sliding through a turn you know again you're not I'm not going to take this turn at 90 miles an hour of course because no tires are going to hold you but you know I'm taking it at a good pace cutting into it and voila out of it just like there's no tomorrow here we have so again some blowing snow right across the road covering everything and um, you know doing about 50k kilometers an hour and just Again, uh, fantastic that these grip, these tires are gripping the way they are. Again, they're made for these kind of materials, right? They're made for good snow. They're made for ice. They're not studded and they're not... Uh, so, obviously, if you're going to go on raw ice, ice excuse me, they are going to give. Um, if you need something more heavy core, then you need to go to studded tires uh, or chains in a lot of cases if you really need to grip. But, you know, here, I have no problem confidence in driving these country roads again I'm going to take it easy I'm going to watch ahead I'm going to keep the car in a 
safe line throughout the road as well. I don't want to go too curved, too close to these soft edges because they're they just drop their dirt and grass and stuff. But you know, no problem uh, zipping along here at about 60, 65 kilometers an hour um, as these tires do what they need to do. So um, again, I, I'm not sure what else I could show you. Uh, I can't do donuts anymore in these things because oh, you'll drive is just too good. But um, from a safe and sound perspective, um, and, you know, full confidence in these tires. All right, and that's it for this uh, edition of the EV Revolution show, my Tesla timeout series on the Mishima XI snow tires. I think you get the point. I could just belabor it by, by doing more road driving and just showing you uh, more and more of the great handling that these things have. So obviously the vehicles do add to it. There's no doubt about it. But, you know, having a good set of snow tires and Michelin is one of the top brands out there. Uh, they are more expensive than others, but by far they really, really are excellent, excellent snow tires. 129% recommend the X uh, Ice Snows for your Tesla vehicle or any vehicle that you have as a matter. But in EVs, they're just going to make them handle even better because we've already got good center of gravity, good weight distribution, uh, good torque vectoring if it's a multi-motor EV, even if it's not, if it's front wheel drive or rear wheel drive. Listen, I'm getting a set for our Kona. Um, we just got a Kia Kona EV, uh, sorry, um, a Kia Soul EV. I was um, got Kona on my mind because I'll be reviewing one shortly. Um, we got rid of finally our our internal combustion vehicle that our daughter had. We cashed it in for a 2023 Kia Soul EV. And I, you guys folks know I love the Soul. Something I always thought about uh, when I reviewed one in 2020. So we got her that and I'm putting a set of Mission and XI stones on that next week. Um, so I'm, that's how confident I am in the, tire, in the tires. Both of our EVs are going to have Michelin X Ice for snow tires. So thank you very much for watching. Um, you can check out any all of your dealers for any pricing and costing. They have all kinds of fitments on all kinds of sizes. So check out Michelin X Ice snow tires. Thanks very much, Michelin Canada, for sending me this set to review. And I'm sorry it took me a while to get to it, but I kind of really wanted to wait for some good weather and give you my, my solid uh, viewpoints and feedback on these fantastic tires. Everybody stay safe and until the next time I'll see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.